so this is the concept map for this video so we will understand rivers of india uh, with majorly five points what are the names uh, what is their origin okay and how they are flowing in which direction they are flowing and uh, where they will going to merge okay and the other things like what are their other known names and what are the city city situated near to them and their main tributaries okay so without further ado let's see the rivers first so these are the 10 rivers that at least you should know okay so i will tell you the major location after that we will see one by one in the coming slides okay so indus river is this one so it flows like this next one is the brahmaputra river it flows like this next one is the ganga river it flows like this again yamuna ni parallel to ganga okay then narmada this one and tapti these are flowing from east to west okay next is mahanadi it flows from west to east then godavari this is a godavari river then this is the krishna river and this is the kaveri river okay so and you understood the location where in india they are actually present okay so we will see the first river that is indus river uh, so the origin of indus river is mount kailash okay so at least you should know the origin of indus river is mount kailash mount kailash is where in tibet china okay or if they ask the most specifically region you can say bhokar chu glacier okay it is near mansarovar lake what is the origin bhokar chu glacier okay it flows from north to west and ultimately meets in the arabian sea okay and it has five tributaries jhelum chenab ravi bias satluj okay from which punjab five rivers panj plus ab so five rivers what are these five rivers jhelum chenab ravi satluj okay the important thing is that uh, this bhakra nangal dam uh, is situated on which river it is satluj okay this bhagra nangal dam is the highest dam highest dam in the sense its height is 226 meter okay so bhagra nangal dam is situated at which river satluj river okay and one more important point about indus river is that in tibet it is also known as singhi khamban okay just note it down singhi khamban or lion's mouth because it appear as a lion mouth okay and uh, in hindi it is also known as sindhu river right you have must have heard sindhu bharti bharti sabhyata yes yes these are some important points about indus river so let's see the next river next river is brahmaputra river okay and it origin is again mount kailash but this time its glacier is different its glacier is chima yangdang glacier okay it is here in tibet okay chima yangdang glacier okay you just note it down this name this is also important from the exam perspective chima yangdang glacier okay it flows from north to east yes so the other important thing is that in tibet it is known as yarlung sangpo okay so it is known in tibet sangpo so it up to here it is known as sangpo but when it enter into india it is known as dihang just note it down student this is very important dihang when brahmaputra enter into india it is known as dihang or siang okay and when it enter into bangladesh it is known as jamuna what jamuna when it enter into bangladesh it is known as jamuna not yamuna okay and one more thing when ganga enter into bangladesh it is known as padma what padma so this padma and jamuna when they merges it is known as meghna what meghna river 
ओके सो दिस नेम इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज ब्रह्मापुत्रा रिवर इज कंसर्न ओके एंड इट्स मेन ट्रिब्यूटरी आज तिस्ता एंड लोहित ओके जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट एंड जस्ट मेक अ नोट फॉर इट द नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर्स आर गंगा एंड यमुना ओके गंगा इज द लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर ऑफ इंडिया ओके इट्स ओरिजिन इज गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर इन उत्तराखंड ओके गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर इन उत्तराखंड ओके वेयर इट इज नेम एज अ भगीरथी ओके टिल नाउ इट इज नॉट नोन एज गंगा सो इट इज नोन एज भगीरथी नेम्ड एज अ भगीरथी ओके वन मोर रिवर ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम बद्रीनाथ इट इज नोन एज अलकनंदा सो दिस ब्लू लाइन रिवर इज अलकनंदा सो दिस भगीरथी एंड अलकनंदा रिवर मीट एट देव प्रयाग वेर इज देव प्रयाग इट इज इन उत्तराखंड ओके सो अल्टीमेटली दे मर्ज इज एंड आफ्टर वर्ड इट इज नोन एज गंगा ओके आफ्टर वर्ड इट इज नोन एज गंगा द ओरिजिन फॉर यमुना रिवर इज यमुनोत्री इट इज अगेन इन उत्तराखंड ओके एंड दे फ्लोज फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू ईस्ट एंड अल्टीमेटली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल वी विल सी द डिटेल्स इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस भगीरथी एंड अलकनंदा भगीरथी ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम वट गंगोत्री सो दे मीट एट देव प्रयाग नियर ऋषिकेश एंड फ्लोज फ्रॉम लाइक दिस नियर टू कानपुर देन इट मर्ज इज विद द यमुना रिवर एट अलाहाबाद ओके एट अलाहाबाद यमुना एंड गंगा मर्ज इज एंड फाइनली इट गोज थ्रू पटना एंड एंटर इन टू बांग्लादेश विद द नेम एज पदमा ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस नेम पदमा ओके एंड फाइनली मर्ज इज इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल ओके सो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग so the other uh, fact that you should know about ganga river is that it forms the world largest delta which is named as sundarban at west bengal student this one world largest delta it has come in drdo septum 9 exam okay so this is very important just note it down world largest delta is formed by which river ganga and it is known as sundarban and where it is in west bengal okay and it tributary kosi is also known as sorrow of bihar because it creates devastating flood in state of bihar okay and as i told you many time when ganga enter into bangladesh it is known as padma river okay coming to the next river it is narmada river it is lifeline of mp and it flows from central india to west student this river narmada and tapi they do not form any delta they form estuaries okay estuaries okay so the origin for this narmada river is amarkantak so this much information you should know about narmada only okay the next important river is tapi uh it is similar it flows from central india to west and its origin is betul mp so it is here betul mp uh and finally it merges into arabian sea okay the important thing is that uh, the city situated near to tapti river is surat so this question has come in drdo septum 9 exam okay this much uh, is sufficient for tapi river okay the next very important river okay is godavari river why it is important it is the second largest river of india after ganga this is second largest river of india after ganga and it is also known as uh, other name like dakshin ganga okay so question can come like this which of the following is dakshin ganga okay vridh ganga okay this is also another name it flows from west to east and finally merges into bay of bengal 
and its origin is nasik okay just remember it origin is nasik okay so the next uh, important river is krishna river its origin is um, mahabaleshwar satara maharashtra and it also flows from west to east okay and finally merges into bay of bengal okay uh, this much you should know at least on krishna river the next river is a uh, kaveri river whose origin is kodagu hills okay and flows from west to east and finally merges into bay of bengal so the important uh, thing about kaveri river is the dispute uh, there is a dispute between karnataka and tamil nadu for which river kaveri river okay uh, that is enough for kaveri river i guess the very next important river is mahanadi okay its origin is dandak aranya in chatisgarh and it flows from west to east and finally merges into bay of bengal and very 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 important hira kud dam okay it is the longest dam okay the highest dam is what bhakra nangal this is the longest dam so longest dam hira kud dam is situated on which river mahanadi river okay how much is the distance about 25 km is is spread okay so hirakud dam is the longest dam of india okay and it is situated on mahanadi river that you should know from uh, rivers you can also expect these type of question where uh, you need to tell the city which are situated near to the rivers okay so Allahabad is situated near to Ganga Yamuna Saraswati as we told you here is uh, Allahabad then Nasik uh, is on Godavari because uh, its origin is also near Godavari uh, near Nasik yes Kolkata uh, it is near Hooghly river okay Katak is near Mahanadi Patna Haridwar Kanpur this is on Ganga river then lucknow is near what gomti river delhi as you know it is situated near yamuna river and 75% of water is uh, supplied by yamuna river okay and the most important surat is situated on tapi river so this is the tapi river and here you can find surat okay and uh, on shrinagar uh, it is near to jhelum river and ludhiana near to satluj okay so at least this city you should know near to which rivers that you should know okay so uh, that's all for today students uh, we will come with mcq on rivers in india I hope you are liking this series and uh, we will come with more videos soon so it is requested you share this video with your friend so uh, which boost our energy and to support us thank you have a nice day